Number 106. Draw the Lewis structures and predict the shape of each compound or ion, and then we have NO2 minus. Now this is an ion because we do have a charge up here. And if they just write a negative, this means that the overall molecule has a negative one charge, which basically means that you have gained one extra electron. That's making you negative because remember, electrons are negative. Now we have to do two things here. We have to draw the Lewis structure and predict the shape. The shape is mostly known as molecular geometry or molecular structure. Molecular, we'll call it molecular geometry. That's where this chart comes in. Here's all of your molecular geometries. And depending on if your teacher or professor is nice, they might give you a chart to help you out on your tests and quizzes, but you might have to memorize them like I had to. So use flashcards, do whatever you gotta do to just memorize the differences between all of your molecular geometries. Now you can't get a molecular geometry without drawing the Lewis structure first. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Now when you're drawing Lewis structures, the least electronegative element always goes in the middle. So between nitrogen and oxygen, nitrogen is a little bit less electronegative than oxygen, so nitrogen is going in the uh, front, or not the front, but in the center. <laughs> so we have N, and then we got two oxygens. So maybe I'll just draw it like this, one and two. So let's see what's going on here. Nitrogen has five valence electrons if we look for nitrogen on the periodic table. It's in group 5A or 15, so it's got five valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, I don't know, five. Now comes oxygen. Oxygen has six valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And maybe we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this negative one means that you gained one electron and generally who is going to gain the one electron? Always the more electronegative element. The more electronegative element will always gain that um, extra electron. So you have a choice between which two oxygens, doesn't matter. Maybe I'll just put the one here. Now we always single bond up first before we double bond just to see if we have octets. So I'm going to do dot to dot, which is always a single bond. And to make these maybe match, I'll have dot to dot. Now this oxygen needs a little help. It's got two, four, six, seven electrons. So it needs that extra one from nitrogen. So it's going to bind to get the double bond. But this oxygen is already chilling. Two, four, six, eight. So it's cool, right? And now the nitrogen has two, four, six, seven, eight. It's got the octet. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just pair these up. So maybe I'll just put one here and one here. And that looks nice. Here is your Lewis structure. But since it has a charge, you just have to make sure that you put them in brackets and you put like a negative one charge just to show you that, hey, I did add that one electron. Now we can do the shape, the molecular geometry. And that molecular geometry is always around the center or the central atom because that's the one that has the bonds all you know, located with it. So in this case, we're going to find the molecular geometry by figuring out what's going on with the nitrogen because that's the, center, the central atom. Now, in order to figure out what's going on, we just have to find out the total number of atoms and the lone pairs that are around that atom. So what's going on with nitrogen? Well, it's got one oxygen that's bound to it, and it's got another oxygen. Those are the only atoms I see. So we have two atoms. And now does this nitrogen have any lone pairs? And yes, it does. It's got the two lone pairs here. So we categorize this as, sorry, did I say two lone pairs? I think I did. I meant one lone pair. It's got two electrons, but that's one pair. So I got one lone pair. So in order to find out what bracket we're in, two through six, all you gotta do is just take the two and the one 
and add them together. 2 plus 1 is 3. So I'm over here. So I have two options. My molecule could either be trigonoplanar or bent. Nobody usually says angular. Bent is, the, I mean, I guess more standard. Or not more standard, but standard. Um, but let's see. This all depends on how many lone pairs the nitrogen has. And since the nitrogen had one lone pair, we are now in bent territory. So we are, or this molecule would be classified as bent. And if we were talking about bond angles, these bond angles, even though I drew them like they look 180, but they would be a little kinked in real life. A little less than 120 because those uh, those two electrons up top forces those bonds to be a little closer together. But either way, here's the shape and the molecular geometry and the Lewis structure. So that's it. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for coming here and getting your chem, you know, chem questions answer, answered. I really love helping you guys out. And thank you so much for coming here and, you know, being part of the community. Thanks for all the kind comments in the comment section. I love talking to you guys, and I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.